Oh, yes, dude, here we go. Oh, we just increased our ship's capabilities. What the fuck? Why, why does your ship have bunny ears now? Uh, you, you're really gonna shame it for uh, being a furry? Here we go. Gather all our dudes. Get them all. We're not ever coming back here, so... Like, be, like a furry, that's not like a sexual orientation or gender or anything. That's just kind of like a hobby, right? Furries in the comments uh, that are watching, please specify something for us. Is furry... Is it like a... I've never understood. Is it a sexual thing? Or is it just like I uh, wouldn't imagine like it's a it's a sexual orientation. I think it's just like a it's like a kink, you know? Is it a kink or like I think it's more of a not kink a sexual than orientation, a, than but a is it like a is it like of. do oh, you wait. identify as that like fully like in a sexual way too, or is it a non-sexual thing? I don't think you can identify as a stuffed animal. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Ryan, careful with your words here, man. Sorry, I mean that's just. Do you realize how offensive that might be to some people uh, that identify true. as stuffed animals? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I th I think furry culture is like cool. I think I like their costumes. I like the designs of the costumes sometimes. Someone's gonna cut this out of context. Oh, and it's no. just gonna be a quote of you. I like furry culture. I like the God costumes. damn it! I mean, I th I think furry culture is like cool. I think I like their costumes. Uh, your movie sucks. One of my favorite uh, movie reviewers on YouTube, uh, I think, is into furry culture or whatever. Like, is a furry. I don't know if he is one himself, but he goes to like the cons and shit. Then he probably is a furry. Can hey, we go dude. as Elmer Fudd to the next furry convention? <laughs> yeah. uh, Ryan and I wanted to go to like an anime convention as Ned Flanders. Like do the face paint. Like really get- we'll, we'll probably still do that. But um, <laughs> anyways, 10 days since Impact, we have managed to increase the range of the do Oh, we unlocked a new place. Hell yeah. That is the final place in the game. Really? And boy is it hard. I'm just throwing that out there. Is it a lava level? Uh, no. It's like a- it's like a water place. It's really oh, hard. okay. Hey, guess what? Uh, Pyro Cynical's a furry. Pass it on. <gasps> Pyro's a furry dude, pass it on. And he gets fucked by giraffe men, or whatever Keemstar said. Keemstar just would not let his thing with Pyro go. Keemstar well, was just like, Ha! Huh, guys, he's a furry! It's like, cool, no one no one cares if he's a furry. Keemstar is one of those, you know like when you get in an argument with someone and then you can like kind of move on from it? He's one of the, and then like later on you're like, oh, I could have said this. He's one of those people except he always goes back to like, I could have said that, so he'll go back to the conversation that's over and like restate what he meant to say because it's like a good comeback type thing but it's and like, he'll do it over up. and over and over again and the conversation's been done for like weeks but he's still going at it uh by the way guys uh pyro's a furry cool, yeah dude. okay no one cares i could care less if, if he's a furry like if he thinks it's fun who, who gives a fuck yeah dude it's his personal life don't mix personal life with youtube like i'm not gonna i don't know the only thing where i could be like ah oh, furries is like if one of my f like if I had a friend that would just come like over to my house and like hey let's go to the beach no it's too hot in my suit I'm like oh let's go hang out it's too hot in my suit or like I, I I don't think like I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone with this but I don't think I could have a friend that would just like always be wearing the suit out in public I could no I couldn't have a friend like that I'd be like no I'm not I'm not going out with you in, in public like that. What are you? Are you fucking furry phobic? You dude? know that's what the whites said about the black some odd years ago, Matt. Oh my god, I would I would love for people just to like in the comments <laughs> to compare this conversation to, like, <laughs> to white and black, <laughs> which is a just a just a just like I don't know how to. It's so different. It's Pe so people do that different. nowadays, and and I and I can't wait for it, people to comment like actually no, it's not. Like, yeah, remember when uh when furries were used they were as, oppressed yeah when no when they were just merely property just to uh to pick to pick the white man's cotton that we then used for our own fursuits i mean you have to have money to get a good fursuit don't you they are expensive i can so tell like, you that whoever has a fursuit i'm not saying they're rich i'm just saying they're not they like, probably are or they saved up a lot of money because probably saved up a lot of money or went into debt buying it i found a website where you oh shit Get out of there, boy! What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of there! Come on! No! no! <laughs> but I, I found a website where it's like for custom fursuits, and basically you send in like... Okay, so I shit you not. You have to make a, like a cast of your body with um, like duct tape. You basically have to make a mold of your body with duct tape, send it into them so they have all your dimensions. How do you un how do you get the tape off? I, I don't know. You have to draw designs of your first suit and then send it into them and they'll make it for you. But it's like thousands of dollars. But all I'm saying, Ryan, if Super Mega takes off and we start making a little bit of money, mm -hmm. I would love to design fursuits and just do a whole video where we make fursuits. I want to be a giant frog. 
<laughs> I want to make. Know? I want to be like a wolf that's like a Confederate flag, <laughs> like a Confederate themed wolf. No, like a Confederate soldier wolf. Like yeah, he's and, wearing the old uniform. Yeah, and he has like a big Confederate flag cape and stuff. <laughs> and we could just do a whole series where we go out in public as these like fursonas we create. No, I'm telling you, you do that one, and I'll just go to Party City and get a gorilla suit. I would love to like go a to a furry convention in just like a onesie gorilla suit. <laughs> You you said that a while back. Yeah, like, that would be great. I just think it's the ultimate haha. -ha. It's just like, oh my god, that's not a real furry suit. That, I think you get some dirty looks from other furries. I don't care. But yeah, who cares? You guys are dehumanizing furries. They're dehumanizing themselves because they're animals. Wow, that was profoundly deep. What? You're right. They are dehumanizing themselves. I mean, or are liter they? Literally, I guess. Or are they just anthropomorphizing animals? That I don't know what the words I'm saying are. But well, the the drawings that I've seen with furries is that they have like very human-like cocks and vaginas, which animals don't have. If you've ever seen a dog's penis, which Ryan and I happen to be experts on dog penises, because Ryan's dog Lego gets erections more than it just like, looks like a membrane. It's just like a big pink. Like, take a condom, fill it with some strawberry milk, you got a dog dick. I have three yellow Pikmin. No, you know what I'm gonna do? What? To commemorate Lego's life after he's dead, I'm gonna make a fursuit out of him. You're literally just gonna have him, like, skinned, have his organs <laughs> yeah. removed. Yeah. I'm gonna have a fursuit made out of him so I can wear him around. I'll do that with banana and I'll, like, I'll <laughs> he's stretch. He's so stretched. I'll, I'll stretch him out as much as I can because he's just a <laughs> tiny little cat. He's getting fat, though. He's a fat fuck. Can I, oh, oh! You can choose a character. Oh, whoa! Okay, I did cool. not know that. I'm gonna be this guy because he looks like uh, he looks like he'd be on a sex offender's registry. <laughs> He's a licensed sex offender. Then I'm going to choose uh, someone that you you'd probably target. I've been playing some Skyrim recently. Skyrim. Yeah. F yeah, dude. Uh, you played before, right? Yeah, I've. I did played you like? I, I'm I'm caught in that whole situation where I keep. Remaking my character over and over again. And yeah, but I finally made the character that I'm happy with. You sure about that? He's a dark elf. A dark elf. Yeah. I'm gonna start planting seeds of doubt in your mind. So like now that you've started finally enjoying it and feeling comfortable with that character, I'm gonna look over your shoulder and be like, eh, my character doesn't look very. So you're gonna be like, Tch. well, there's one thing. <laughs> like I love his special attack, but there's one thing he does like, like minus twenty five percent melee damage, and I'm like. Tch. I like using melee weapons. Oh man! But I'd rather have strong magic and a strong, like a strong resistance to fire magic, than being able to beat up people just a little bit more. Better. You know what you're saying? When I played, I made my character a uh, Khajiit. What's it called? Khajiit. Khajiit. I think so. Like, did yeah. I get it right? Really? Yeah, wow. that's the cat one, right? Yeah, yeah. I made mine the cat one. So yeah. I'm, a, I'm a cat guy. I thought they looked cool. They they do look cool. Um, I I the lizard people are pretty cool. I wish they had a wolf people. Ooh, that'd be cool. I would love that. Like if they had dog people. I would definitely do that. This sounds weird. It sounds like we're just like setting the stage for like a furry talk. God, why, why don't they just say, there's got to be a mod for Skyrim where you can just be a furry. I'm going to look that up. A mod where like, it. there's got to be mods where they have new races. Yeah. I'm so stupid. I'm going to have to restart the whole game again. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, I'm going to look up a mod right now. We're going to find out live on the podcast if there's a fucking uh, mod. Here we go, Matt. Are Hi, you ready? Um, so this is one of my favorite segments of all time. Here we go. Okay. Let's okay. See. The night spawn. Look at all these mods, bro. Man, I still want that Confederate furry suit. Well, I couldn't find a mod on the spot. Uh, if you guys can send, if you guys can put in awesome Skyrim mods in the comments section, uh, put in like I usually use NexusMods.com. If you can put in a link to that, I already have the Nexus Mod Manager, so it's easy for me to download these mods. Uh, please, and if there's one that allows me to be a dog person, let's do that. And I know you're like, oh, why don't you just be a werewolf in the game? Guys, Ryan, I want to be a dog person. Ryan's looking for epic Skyrim mods. If guys, I could be a on. giraffe person, that would be great. Like, if I could be a pig, no, a pig person. Help Ryan out, guys. Help just him please. get some epic Skyrim mods. He needs these mods, guys. Please, he needs please, these mods. Please, please, please. Oh my God, he needs these mods more than he needs. Um. We got personas. We got personas, dude. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. He's so hot. He's big and strong. I want a fursuit made to look exactly like that. Like big with, molten fucking Bowser? With real magma. <laughs> someone's gonna go to a convention, someone's gonna come up and be like, wow, and touch it and burn the shit out of himself. And then some mom, some angry furry kid's mom is gonna sue you. No. Oh man, imagine getting sued by a bunch of furries. God fuck! 
Mm. What happened? It's banana peels, dude. Sorry. And I went off the fucking edge. <laughs> Oh man! R rest of the podcast, you gotta how, laugh like. How's that. editing for the game grumps going, dude? It's going great, man. <laughs> Love my job. Yeah, yeah, really enjoying it. How about you? Going well. Right now, I've got some uh, kitty cat gaming, working on that PUBG episode that we got done, which is super cool. Gonna edit this podcast tomorrow, probably. Rad, dude. Gotta tell Don what to do for the thumbnail. Good old Don. He's a, by the way, he's he's awesome. He's our, our channel artist on Twitter. He is Don Do Ro 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 Ro. Go Three check rows. out his Twitter because his pictures are super awesome. He does, he does some great drawings, guys. Gotta love the little boys. What, he's, he lives in Europe or some shit? I don't know. I don't know. He's cool, though. He's a really cool dog. Get cool, it? Cool little dog because his, his avatar is a dog. That's why I did that joke. Okay, Ryan, let's talk about furries. Okay. I want to make a documentary about furries. A really good documentary about furries. We've talked about this. I know we need to. We need to make like a... Uh... I want to go hang out with them. Learn their lifestyle. <laughs> breathe learn the same their air lifestyle. they breathe. Wear their diapers. Like I just want to, I want to be a part of that, of that community for, for half a day maybe. And just see what it's like. There are people who are 100% socially normal. Like they're not socially awkward and they are furries. Oh, totally. No, I know furries. And I and I got nothing against furries. I'm talking about the hardcore ones that like wear the suit all day. Yif, 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 yeah, yif, those yif, ones. Yif, yif. The ones that you know, you know, they like to do the um, they like to get a little freaky in the fursuits. suits. That's fine. Yeah, too. no judgment. I mean, I I just I'm I'm intrigued by that lifestyle, and I'd like to learn more about it. And okay. I'd like to do that through making a documentary. I think that'd be a fun way to do it. I think I I get a little weirded out when they start doing, hey, how's it going? And they start doing voices in their costumes. Especially when they got like the really expensive ones that like the mouths move and everything. I'm like, ha, that's okay. Ha, ha, let's go have fun. All right. Because like in general, like from what I see, that's just another way of escaping a life you don't like. Damn. Yeah. I mean, everyone, everyone has their own thing that they do. But like becoming a character is a nice way to kind of put yourself on hold. Jim Carrey talked a lot about that in the documentary of how it was nice to take a break from Jim Carrey and just become someone else. Shit, dude, I never thought of it that way. Like when you're acting, just don't just don't worry about your own shit. Just be someone just, else. Just be someone else. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I never thought about that. That's like a really interesting way to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's another. Do you think furryism? Furryism is another uh, form of escapism. Yeah, one hundred percent. There's so many like things that are can be classified as escapism. Like, obviously the biggest ones are like drugs and alcohol. But then like there's like video games and wait, did you just say drugs? Dude? I just said drugs. Ryan, throw some air horns in. Thank pew, you. Pew, 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 real air horns, pew, Ryan. Real. No, I don't want to put any real. Come on, air Ryan. Horns I know it's in. more editing effort. Just put one in, please. What? It... Right here. Put it. Go. <laughs> Thank you. My man Ryan's a little op. You know what I'm saying? Overly pretentious, more like it. <sighs> Matt, <laughs> you're making me feel like a like a straight up asshole, a big big ol' asshole. Well, you smell like one, <laughs> and you look like one too. I looked over and you were legitimately an <laughs> asshole, a floating omnipotent asshole. That that's like that'd be a nightmare, man. Shit like that, it just that would scare me so bad. I'd probably go home and never leave my room and spend the rest of my days jerking off to furry porn. <laughs> Are you shifting fucked, Pokemon? Fucked up. Yeah, I'm shifting Pokemon. Go with it. I'm with her. Because I need, I need, uh, I'm with her to <laughs> level up a little bit, you know? You know what I'm saying, dude? It's, I'm with her. Oh, it's that's one good. of those cat people that all those, like, people like. You know what I'm saying? Furries? Yeah. Oh, oh my shit! god! Yes! 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 God, stop crying. Why am I doing this? What am I getting back from saving the baby? Nothing, just fuck it. Fuck it, I'm not going up there, dude. Oh, I have to go up oh, there. Oh, god damn it. Look at me trying to avoid any fun part of the game and then <laughs> finding out it's actually necessary. Just follow the arrows, you whore. Oh shit, he's shooting at me. Ba -da 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 -da. I hate that they're slightly prickly and furry. That's just weird. Oh, you got something against furries? Yeah. Stomach hurts. Ow. He's all grown up. Actually feels better now. He really wants to shout it out. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> all grown up with you. <gasps> Don't tell me that... Does the wife die? Okay, whew. I thought she was gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> I thought that's what was gonna happen, because I don't see her anymore. That had to be the least painful childbirth imaginable. Yeah, it was a tiny little it's thing. Like, 
Oh, it's like from the first game, in yeah. the opening. He's throwing you her. You got it. They could have made a level where you're inside of her stomach rolling stuff up to make the baby. To get rid of gastro and to test. And yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Forgot how to say the word. Saluton. S. Okay. <laughs> well, I, we agreed no funny voices. I wasn't doing a funny voice. You were too. Oh, you're calling you're doing, you're it, doing right it, now. it right now. What are you talking about? Stop Why doing do you, the voice. Fucking come on. You do this every episode. You and you're this, dressed up in a Halloween costume. You do this costume. really goofy voice. Just talk normal. <laughs> Why are you in a big gorilla suit, Matt? <laughs> God. I told you I wanted to go to a furry convention in a in a in a, in a big gorilla suit. Just from in a like regular party city. No, Just a regular gorilla suit. <laughs> I used to have a gorilla suit when I was a kid. People would still ask to hug you. Yes, they would. And then what if I had my my little wee wee poking out? Uh, then you would get in trouble with hotel management, but they wouldn't mind. Just, Man, put, just put shorts. Well, on. I don't know anything about that, Julian. What what would it be like? Have you been to a furry con? Yes. Julian. I said it, yeah. How easy would it be to have sex with a furry if you, I don't know. If you I are try. also a furry? Probably pretty easy. Do you think if I went to a furry convention, I could get laid? With the sole goal of For having by sex. By a lady, no. What? What? I don't think there's that's any... That's really mean to me because that's that's saying that I'm just, I'm very gross. And no, it's, it's I think also... it's just because there's no, there's no, like, lady furries that are promiscuous. Really? Oh, that's not true. I don't think that's true. I didn't Name see one. Many. It's many. It's mainly fat dudes. Mm. Fat dudes, skinny dudes is like nerdy skinny dudes that don't leave their apartments probably a second. Yeah, you can get a lot of those. Okay. Uh, they, call them all to the hotel room. The, they... I would imagine they're all lacking in social skills, but they're all probably very horny. Yeah. And will fuck anything that moves. They're probably all really smart, too. No. I, I mean, probably they're, they're, most of them. I feel are like kids like, like that made great grades computer in technicians and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you got Huey. I love Huey. I don't think that necessarily means uh, what that you're too intelligent if you can work a computer. <laughs> Look at them. They're Limited edition. Them. I met him, or I didn't meet him. I saw him. Stan Lee. I was at Comic Con, and I and someone was like, "Hey, look, there's Stan Lee. He's old." Respect him. He made Spider-Man. I do respect Stanley. I'm just saying that he's he's old these days. He's in his 90s. Yeah, but he still he still has enough time to make a cameo appearance. Yeah, I mean that takes you out of the fucking movie. I'd, I'd, I'd like for them to start getting self-aware to something will happen and it zooms in on Stanley and goes, "Hey, I made that character. It's my <laughs> that's my intellectual property." He's like 90. Well, he's a passionate person. And he's still showing up. He works in the comic book world because he loves it. Yeah. He had that whole sci-fi show where it's like, I want you to create your own your own superheroes and dress up as your own superheroes. And then that's like how he sounds. 20 furries show up. I wonder what, what Stanley thinks about furries. They're, they're like, these are the heroes. These are the real heroes. <laughs> Those heroes I came up with. No. There's a meme that shows like a bunch of like bunch of cops after a hard day of work then it's like a lot of people have been giving these guys too much credit but to me then it shows a picture of furries these are the real heroes <laughs> and it's like just and it, at the bottom you make sure to like have the marvel logo in it to be like this is a stanley uh meme i wonder trademarked meme by stanley I, I wonder like how much money and legal fighting it would take to acquire the legal rights to all furries. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Drunk Drawing. Today we're going to be drawing a very, uh, a topic that everyone has been requesting and that's furries because we know that at least 70% of our fan base are furries. So we wanted to appeal to you guys. So here we are drawing furries. Now we don't know much about furries, but we're gonna draw ourselves as furries. We're gonna draw other people as furries. We're just gonna, you gonna draw gonna furries. Are you gonna draw yourself as a furry or are you gonna draw me as a furry? Like what you would picture my persona. What do you think? Should I draw myself or should I think I you should draw me and I should draw you. Alright, I'm gonna draw Ryan as a furry. <laughs> okay, so... so you get to pick my animal and everything. Dark hair, right here, see? Boom, dark hair, got that color <laughs> hair. Well, that, this is actually not bad. I know, right? And then you, I mean, you got like I'm a... I'm a balding with hair on one side of my head. It dolphin. happens when you get to be about 24. <laughs> so here's your, here's your facial hair, okay? Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Ryan's got a little mustache. What color your eyes? You got like dark, you got like Did dark you hazelnut. What color my fucking eyes are? Ryan, I'm drunk. What do you think it's gonna be, man? Fuck! God damn it, I fucked your eye up. If, like, that's the thing. Alright, your eyes when are- someone from the Middle East fucks someone, 
They've doomed their children to have brown eyes. That's not a doom thing. Brown eyes are very beautiful. Are they? All right, now we're just going to put a little logo on your shirt right here. All right. Okay. And there you go. Ryan is a furry. Here you go. Look at that. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. You literally just ate someone's ass out. <laughs> Weight Watchers, that's all good. Am I drawing your persona now? My persona, baby. What what animal do I strike you as? When you when you see my personality, when you see me, what do you see, man? What animal? Uh, oh. <laughs> you want to phone a friend? <laughs> you want to phone a friend? Let me draw you as a fucking ferret, dude. A ferret? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll take a ferret. Sure. Ferrets are fucking... Moss green? <laughs> what are you talking about? Ferrets aren't that color. What are you drawing me that way? Shh. What are you <laughs> Okay. What and the hell is you're this? You're going to have a little bit of light gray in your features. You know what I'm saying? Because is, that, is, that the, is that what color you think ferrets are? What? You think ferrets are that color? <laughs> ferrets are that color. Listen, Ryan, I'm trying to get you to draw me an accurate persona. And here you are, here you are giving me all sorts Here's of goofy colors and shit. Gray spots. My, gr my, my, my moss green skin. Gray <laughs> spots. <laughs> oh, wait a second, dude. You know oh, dude. Go to the other room. Alright. I'll tell you when to come back in. I'll okay. tell you. <laughs> yes! That's good, dude. I'm proud of you. Shit! Oh, look at the layers, man. <laughs> You're gone. Am I from the streets of, like, the Bronx? Am I from the Bronx right now? What is this shit? I'm confused. Guns are fun. That's good. All right. That, that, that's good enough. I'm happy. You think okay. that's a good persona? That, that's a good enough persona. <laughs> okay. I'm real happy <laughs> I'm really happy with that one. Thank you. You know what? I'm gonna. You no, know, I'm gonna. So I get to tell you what to draw. Where's my phone? Did you steal it? No. Ah! Who am I? What am? What furry related thing am I drawing now? I want you to draw. What? I don't furries. Like, what am I drawing? I don't. R. Kelly moose. <laughs> R. Kelly is a moose. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna have that big new that moose snout, and then a moose is like what color? Like this color? That's a moose color, right? Moose color? Is that good? It's a moose. <laughs> it's a moose. It is. Moose. Okay, mooses are brown, Ryan. You can't act like I'm drawing some like. Like I colored him that way because he's a moose. This guy have a little piss in his, little piss in his shorts, a little piss dripping down his legs. Cause R R Kelly, you know him in the piss. I'm actually gonna change his uh, tank top. I'm more fitting color. I'm gonna give it like a, give it like a, like a nice little pink tank top. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Up in the closet. He's in the closet, so he's just saying the word closet. He's got a little piss dripping down his shorts, cause he likes to piss on people. That's beautiful, mate. I love that. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, man. What you do? Oh. Oh. Now we're in the 3D world. Yes, we are. Ooh. Um. <laughs> that's I'm, me. Yeah, Ryan's gonna be the girl. I'm gonna be the little fox because I'm a furry. I'm just kidding. I'm not a furry. If you had a fursona, what would it be, though? Oh, God. Everybody, people are gonna make this into a big meme that, that I'm afraid. <laughs> it's like, I love Splatoon porn. I'm a furry. Uh, I gotta run, Matt. Okay, I don't- you're not- you're not involved yet. I'm running from this big bear. I'm the big polar bear. I'm chasing you. you gotta answer my question, Matt. Uh, I'll, I'll answer it too. I think I'd be, uh... I'd be half shark, half lobster. <laughs> okay. There's nothing wrong with mixing fursonas, man. Look at that thing. It is. Oh. Dude, polar bears are terrifying. They just- they do not care. They will- they will kill you. Oh, Oh, look. that's me! I don't- I don't know if you can I'm not control controlling it yet. it yet. Hold on. Am I gonna save you from the big polar bear? Maybe. Matt, I'm gonna need your help. And I think if I had a fursona, ooh. What do you mean if, Ryan? Well, if you had a fursona, everyone can, has a fursona. You can be fursona. open. Be open about it. Is this ice? Dude, we got an achievement. We got close call. Oh, that was a close call. You can say that again. I haven't answered my fursona. Yeah, what's your what's your fursona? A pig? No. <laughs> it's a cr it's a cross between a pig though. 
<laughs> it's a pig and a Komodo dragon. <laughs> Does anybody do a pig as their persona? I, like, I, it's always like a wolf or a dog or a cat. I never see like a pig. You never see like a moose. Like a uh, like you, a. Buck. You never like see a rat. Yeah. You ever see like a rat persona or like a uh, big old teeth? Like a, even even like, that, like a kangaroo. Oh. Shit, man. What? I just remembered. What do you remember? I left the heat on. Oh. Oh. Ryan! I guess it's cold out, so it's cool. It's pretty cold out. Like, LA's been but cold like, recently. leaving my heat on for... Monetary reasons. Eight hours. Yeah, that's... I'm that's... sure it would be expensive. Oh, well. I'm little, little Lego is going to be burned to a crisp when you get home. Oh, he's fine. It's going to be sure a tiny little, little cooked pup. Well, that's why he has his fur. He can get air, go through in it. Works like a little fan of his. What? That's how dogs cool off. The air goes through their fur in a way where it cools them off. Really? Yeah, their fur works as like a uh, air conditioning type thing, like an insulation system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you fucking with me, Ryan? No, no, no. Is this a Ryan McGee lie? Mm -mm. I can see it in your eyes. You're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. I promise. I Ryan. looked it up because I was like, I was like, oh, my dog, my dog hot, <laughs> <laughs> my dog hot. <laughs> that search result could either be like your dog is like too hot temperature That's the wise, first or you tweet think that your led dog to a, is like, hot. furry or something. Yeah, exactly. Like my dog. Back in hot. the day. You know what? Um, can I go check to see if lunch is here? Country Bears, the Broadway musical, coming this <laughs> holiday. <laughs> of all the movies to turn into a Broadway <laughs> musical, I'm just interacting those with bear like. Those suits were fucking awesome. They were no, they were freaky as hell. They were good. Country the, Bears. The people who made those suits, they did a good job. Like, imagine how much work that. Yes, took. I mean, good job. Like, they're well-made suits. Like, I they're wish just furries freaky. made that quality of suit. They do, man. Furries make amazing suits. They do make good suits, but they're all kind of like in that anime cartoon style. I, I mean, want... that's what furries are. What, you want like hyper-realistic animal suits? Did you not hear what I just said, you fuck? What? You Country want... Bears-esque furry suits. Country Bears is fucking freaky, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that movie scared the shit out of me when I first saw it. Look at those fucking suits. Let me see. Let me see them. Let me see the suits. <laughs> They're, they have character to them. Dude, if furries looked like that. <laughs> that would be awesome. You will never see me at a furry convention. <laughs> Dude, those things are going to fucking kill me. This bear was is fucking like scary as fuck looking. I'm going he's in. Fine. Look at that. Uh, That was really a character? Yeah, because uh, Chris, Christopher Walken's in the movie. He plays the, like, the antagonist. I forgot Christopher Walken's in fucking Country Bears. Yeah. Good. What do we got? What's in store? Let me read this. Maybe, I don't know. Dear Matt and Ryan, hello, my name's Sarah. I'm a 19-year-old college student from Somers, Connecticut. I've been a fan of your work since you guys started the channel two years ago. Uh, I'd plan on mailing you guys something that Matt made that Fursuit Friday tweet. I make fursuits as my own business and full... Oh. Oh. No fucking way. Was this actually made for us? No fucking way. It's it's Lego. It's your dog. What? <laughs> um, we gotta try it on. I'm so excited! How do I- <laughs> Jesus. This is the pinnacle of our careers. Thank you so much. But Dude, yeah. I should show up today be like hey lego no. he would shit himself all over it <laughs> uh oh it says uh keep frozen it's the box cutter where does this thing keep going why we always lose the box cutter stick your finger in there just stick it right in here hey matt i'm really fat and thirsty Could i got you, you buddy you good mm -hmm. you good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what friends are for right i'll entertain at birthday parties for those interested I dang stabbed myself! What did I tell you, Matt? What did I tell you? You told me a lot of things, right? Look at my face. Look at my fucking face. What did I tell you? You said not to cut towards yourself. I told you not to fucking cut yourself. I, I, I'm sorry. Nintendo uh, 64, look. What are you doing? Maybe just take a little break or... Put it back on. Put it back on. That's right. Speaking of scary stuff, I had something I want to bring up to you. I I was hanging out with Harrison Jackson tonight, and we, like, you could easily be... I want to, okay, I know what you're about to say, and I'm going to, okay, go, say it, say it. What, do you want me to save it for something else? No, 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 say it. 
I think it's very plausible that, of course, it's not true, but there's a there's a good case around you that you could be a werewolf. Why? Why? What's the case? So I got a couple things. Okay. You kind of have that dark, quiet, mysterious side. Dark, um, quiet, mysterious side. Yeah. Is it because when I go home, like it's hard to get in contact with me? <laughs> kind of, but it's like so just you know you 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 have that kind of like mysterious vibe about you. Do I? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And um. Then like it's interesting seeing from a from a different perspective people looking at me. And so so I'm interested. There's in like that. there's like a little there's a little slicer. It's kind of like a quiet mysterious side of Ryan. And okay. then you know you got the you got the look for it a little bit. You got like because I'm hairy. Yeah, you got the hairy. But then you got that the long hair mm-hmm. that that fits it. But we're thinking we're like, what if like he can't help but turn, and that's why he always has to leave hanging out at night early and he's like i gotta go uh i gotta go take i gotta care of my go dog. take care of lego it's like and it's, it's always the, before the sun goes down it's the perfect excuse we'll all be hanging out and you're like sorry dude I, I i gotta go take care of lego and it's like really already man it's like yeah i gotta go i can't stay for the rest of the party go. <laughs> and then it's like i have left a lot of events with that excuse oh many times but also it's like it's not an excuse we're, we're like what if, what if he got the dog and then also moved really far away just so the excuse holds up because it's like if you lived really close to like everyone else mm-hmm. and you were like sorry i gotta go take care of my dog it's like ryan what, what you, it's like five minutes away but because of the distance and because of the uh nature of it it's like oh yeah we're never gonna question it until now well uh i mean that's a good that's a good theory well it all came but up but until you have any proof we were watching like a werewolf thing and we were just like, imagine we're like could, could you see ryan as a werewolf and we're like yeah and then we started thinking about like wait it makes sense because I always leave places. Was that the one? Was that the one? Piece that, that, of... That's a pretty big piece right there. And also the when we lived together, all the claw marks that would appear on the wall after full moons. Oh, but, I mean um, that's was that, that Lego? Or that or... happens. That that happens everywhere. That was probably Lego. It does not happen. That doesn't happen in my place. If you have but a dog, fine. Then we don't have to talk about yeah. it. But I don't know. I could just see you as a werewolf. Okay. I'm well, sure a lot of and fans. That's a could. zombie. No, I, I'm I'm thinking when you say that because like werewolves were like. The first furries, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, the they wolf were. man. That's furry shit. Think about it. That's pre. That's pre furry shit. Absolutely anthropomorphic animal. What were those things called? Zoo. Uh, uh animorphs. Animorphs. The books yeah. where the cover was like the kid transforming into like a. I hated those. Fairy. It's horrifying. We've talked about this before. I'm sure. Who gives a shit? But it was creepy as shit. I hated that when I was a kid. It gave me the same vibe, like the same weird vibe. As the, um, there's a creepy book that's about the three little pigs. And the, the artist who did it, it was very creepy. Hold on. I'm going to look up creepy three little pigs book. Yeah, it's called the true story of the three little pigs. Let me see. Hold on. It's going to fucking Amazon. This? You remember that book? Oh, yeah. He did a bunch of other kids books. Yeah. It's just like. What's the guy's name? Fucking, I don't know. Um, but Animorphs, like. Every other frame besides the, the kid being normal and the animal were scary as shit. Like, some of the ones, like, I think the ones where he's first transforming into it, like, the first two or three, those are the freakiest. Animorph. It's just, like, all the covers. It's like, ah. That's like when they just discovered Photoshop, and they're like, guys, check out what we can do nowadays. And it's just freaky. Oh, dude, you realize, like, <laughs> our generation had Look all the— at this Let me shit. see. Put this up in the podcast. How is this not creepy? Whoa, that's that's fucking nightmare fuel. I fucking locked your phone, Ryan. Face ID. Face ID. <laughs> Look at it. Look at the screen. There it is. Sorry. See, they put the fucking lock button on the side. I know. So I what always the accidentally. What fuck? <laughs> that's scary as shit. <laughs> Isn't it? Every fucking frame of that is scary as shit. When I was a kid, I know like adults are probably like, kids are gonna think this is epic, but I was I was always shit. Look at that shit, dude. That's what I'm saying. We're looking at the snake. It's on the screen right now. If you want to take a look, like it's the snake one. Oh, there's one where he turns into a fucking cockroach. Uh uh-uh. uh. What? Uh uh-uh. uh. Look at that shit. <laughs> the fucking dumbass kid turned into. Like, he's growing shit on his face? Give me, let me see this. Watch that, dude. No. <laughs> not a fan. Not, not into it one fucking bit. This isn't even an animal. What is this? Like, what other. I'm oh, gonna... the alien. What, what? Whoa. This one, they're turning into like a reptile. <laughs> I love the one where they just turn into a fucking mallard. <laughs> oh yeah i see it oh, dude oh i hate this one dude the starfish wait the girl a... look she's turning into a fucking starfish look i think i found my favorite one 
Turned fuck? into a fucking starfish. It's like conehead shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that a gorilla? Yeah. I like the second, like, the second frame of that. It's like a smirk, like, mmm. These are all gonna be on screen, guys, so you can, uh, you can, you can look, watch along at what we're reacting to. Uh, oh, whoa. One girl becomes a f squid? Yeah. This girl becomes a mouse. Oh, this is the one I remember the most. Dude, how and many I hated were it. there? This is the one that I remember when I was a kid, and this is the one that I hated the most that I saw the cover of when I was a kid. It was the one where they turn into, like, a hawk. Or a bird of some kind. Oh, that face is... This is like a bad acid trip. Oh, man. I think we know what the thumbnail is going to be. Wait, how would you know what a bad acid trip is, is like, I'm huh? just guessing, Ryan. I would never do drugs. You know that. True. Um, dude, we had, like, our generation had all, like... People were like, why do furries exist? It's like, dude... Our generation had all the, the precursors there. We had Animorphs, we had Zoo Books, we had Arthur. And we also had Squarespace. All right, let me introduce you to someone, Ryan. This is my girlfriend. Busy B. Look how cute she is. Look at this. Shaza. Shaza. Damn, dude. This is a furry's wet dream. Oh, I bet all over DeviantArt there's some good, uh, some drawings of her. Wait, you're just doing this to protect a water bottle? Yeah, these guys want to take her water bottle. The only reason I'm doing it is because she's hot. Why can't she just run away? They don't go fast. She's right there. Can't she just grab the water bottle and slide down the slippery waterfall? Is she just waiting for them? I like, think so. Oh, no. She's like, oh, no. She's got Princess Peach Syndrome. He's done for. I got him. Thanks heaps for what you did back there. Yes. I hope she comes back to give us a big fat kiss. Is that a dolphin I heard? I love furries.